Hello my lovelies, welcome to Whitney's Wonderland YouTube channel. I am so excited because today we are going to talk about Law of Attraction with the number one expert on YouTube, Master Sri Akarshana. Let's do this! I mean, now is now the universe is putting a big mirror in front of everybody's faces, you know? Um, all of people are getting frustrated. People are feeling lonely. People are out of their work. They're, they're stuck on financial. They're trying to figure out how they're going to get through next month. Um, and businesses are struggling. So there's a lot of different things happening. But if we look at this, not as the great pandemic, if we look at it as the great awakening, actually the universe is basically putting a mirror in front of us. Every reaction that is coming out of us right now, so let's say, for example, if somebody's frustrated, if somebody's upset, you can't, you can't become something because of something. You just become what you already are. As you guys saw, right now, we have the time and the, we can say the gift in a way of really connecting with our inner self and really take this moment to pick our thoughts even more to be picky with what we think and when obviously thoughts that are not always positive will come into our mind because we can help it but what we can do what always works for me always always works for me is just think of something else instead of focusing on that negative thought or be like oh i don't want to think about you know uh that i don't want to think about that then the more you don't want to think about that the more you kind of think about that so for me, the best way is to think about something else. For example, I have uh, my friend Larissa, who I voice, voice note every day. We always send voice notes. And then when, if I ever feel like I'm going into a negative space, I just go and voice note her about something else, or we talk about something else, or I call a friend. I call my friend James, who is going to be on my next Gretchen Tuesdays. By the way, you need to tune in. He's amazing. Um, and then he just vibrates so high. He's such a, he's an amazing human being. He's been meditating for over 16 years. So I always go to him and I go back into the place where I want to be. Or I listen to some music of those beautiful healing tones on YouTube. Or watch a video. I love Abraham Hicks as well. Or Master Sri Akarshana, of course. And then go back into the place where I want to be. So that will be my number one tip for sure. And I want to show you some other bits of the video that I think you'll find really interesting. Yeah. And so at a time for crisis, and this is why in Chinese we have um, this name for crisis, which is, which is Wei Ji. And we talk about it, it consists of two symbols. One symbol, Wei means danger. The second symbol means opportunity. Mm -hmm. And danger and opportunity, these two symbols make up beautiful. the word crisis. That is beautiful. <laughs> wow. I love that. And so, and so when we look at it, I mean, most people right now, it's, in reality, they're looking at it as there's a lot of danger going on right now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which, which, is, which is fine. Obviously, there is, right? And we need to be, I'm not saying, hey, keep a positive mind, go out there. And, and, no, I'm saying we need to take the precautions. Obviously, it's serious. Yeah. But in perspective of you and i know you'll definitely know about this because i see your post every single day so much positivity you put out into this world yeah <laughs> and, and by the way i just want to i want to say thank you for that on behalf <laughs> of the <laughs> universe on behalf um, of the, you need to understand one thing is that our thought goes into creation so when we think something when we think everything is energy energy is everything when we think that's vibration so vibration yeah. attracts vibration this is just basic science yeah yeah, yeah 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 everything literally everything in our life and, and 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 so when we start to understand that then actually it's very simple because when we think something we're already creating when people talk about law of attraction all they're saying is um the difference between when you're consciously doing it and you're not consciously doing it so for example um tell me this person's amazing right and so when you have that amount of positivity then everything is flowing with your manifestation but the biggest problem is a lot of people aren't that way so what happens is in the morning, they're doing, oh, gratitude, oh, things I'm grateful for. Then throughout the day, they're thinking, why is that person dressed that way? Or why does that person look like that? Or I hate it when people do this, you know? But they, what you don't realize is when you say, I hate it when people do this, that is a manifestation because that is a thought, that is a vibration. You are going to attract someone like that. So all of the things you want and you don't want, you start attracting. And so people say, law of attraction is not working. No, 
Be careful of your subconscious mind. Be careful of what's happening throughout the day. Law of attraction is not a 20 minute practice in the morning. Law of attraction is a practice of positivity throughout. And that's why you do so well with it. That's why you attract everything. No. <laughs> because you stay in this high vibration. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It, 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 is, it, is, it is like a workout, I always say. It's not like you go to the gym for six months and you have the body of your dreams and you die for six months and then you're there and then you stop and then that's it. No, it's forever. So this is the same. It's kind of like mental health in a way as well. Like you can't just be like, oh, okay, now I'm so high vibrating high I'm a superhuman and then that's it no like for me it's every single day I make a point and like when I everything so once you let it go is when things come to you that is so interesting so interesting because it happens to me all the time like when I'm too attached to something it doesn't happen and when I'm like you know what I'm fine with whatever. I trust the universe. What is there for me will be there. And what's not, it's not. And it's okay. And then it comes. And then I'm like, do I even want it anymore? You know, a little bit like that because you let it go. That's what happens. You've actually that's let it go. That's why a lot have, of people... How to not feel low when you don't <laughs> see your manifestation coming. The biggest, the biggest question I get, I think I shared with you last time, is people want to manifest their ex back. Yes, I had so many of those <laughs> well, yesterday. And, it, and it's really interesting because um, the moment people want to, the, the moment you're in desperate need for something, that's attachment. Mm -hmm. But attachment doesn't work with law of attraction. Detachment works with law of attraction. Once you let go, it comes. But you are most attached. You're, you're fearful of losing. So you're really, really attached. So it's a very interesting thing what you shared there because that's what happens. I say the key to it now is to act as if you don't care. Just let it go, right? And focus on other things. Don't even think about it. When you don't think about it, it's highly likely that it will come to you. Mm -hmm. Deep love is saying, I understand that I may not be the right person for you. I understand that I may not make you happy every single day. I love you enough to even let you go, to set you free. That is deep love. Interesting. Ellie is asking, I have a question. How to have fun manifesting? I sometimes find it hard, she says. How to have fun manifesting? Why would you not find it fun? Uh, I, I, think, I, think the, I think the way to look at it is if you don't find it fun, actually you can't manifest. Exactly. Right? Because you can, only, like, oh, you can so only manifest in positive I, state. Yeah. You can only manifest in positive state. So, you know, some people when they say, they say, I don't believe the law of attraction. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Do, I'm like you. Got no. You don't lose anything by practicing law of attraction. Yeah, that's that's what people need to understand. Like people, I don't believe it. I'm not gonna do these practices. Well, okay, don't do it. But I'm saying, by let's say it didn't work. Let's say law of attraction doesn't work. Let's say it's all it's all false. But you trying it, you don't lose anything. You yeah. cannot lose. You can only gain. So why not try it? And when you try it, just go with fun. You know, and 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 the thing is, how to do it with fun is very simple. I always say. Placing an order on Amazon is the equivalent to setting the intention. If you want to click the prime button, which everybody wants, everybody wants prime delivery, then add emotion. The more emotion, energy and motion, the more emotion you add in, the faster the delivery. So when you close your eyes and you visualize, think how, how, think how beautiful visualization is. I covered this today in one of our videos. I said that if you look at physical, we have physical uh, constraints. Like there's things we have physical can't do. You can't say, hey, let's go fly. You can't fly, right? You can't jump out the window and fly. But when you close your eyes and you visualize, you can fly. You can be with unicorns if you want. You can be with dragons if you want. You can do anything you want to do. So have fun with it. But what's really fascinating is once you start having fun with it, you start seeing that your reality starts reflecting the fun that you've been having. In. Look at the opportunity it's giving us right now. There's so much opportunity it's giving us right now. How many times do we get to stay at home and spend time with the people who we are at home with, okay? Or some of you by yourself, then great. How, much t how, how often do you get that time to be able to spend so much time with yourself? Practice self-love in this moment. This is an opportunity. How many times in this lifetime will we experience something like this? Think about it, lockdown, right? It's like our grandparents could talk about the world war that they were going through. That's their, that's their stories, right? We have yeah. no stories to tell our grandchildren. I mean, what are we going to say? We were on Facebook and Instagram, you know? This is no yeah, story. exactly. Now we have a story. Now we have a story to tell. Those yeah. who have ever thought about writing a book before, now's the time to write the book. You're stuck exactly. in this lockdown.
when they're indoors, everybody is stuck to what? They're stuck to this thing here. So what all of you need to learn is the things that, like what Whitney's doing, you need to learn, right? Because right now, while everybody's like, I don't know what to do, right? We, we are seeing more people online than ever before, right? Mm -hmm. And not just online. If you, want, if you ever thought about building a YouTube channel, Instagram channel, any channel, now's the time because now everybody's online. They have, got nothing, they have nothing else to do. Yeah. If you are struggling with finances, now is the time to look into building online business. Why? Mm -hmm. You can't go to the shops right now. Everybody is ordering online. So people are buying, they're buying online. So now whatever services, whatever solutions you need to provide online. So look, in fact, this is what I said to a lot of our students, our disciples a few days ago. I said that, hey, now the time is to spend time doing a lot of hustle, a lot of work, work more than yeah. you've ever worked before. Because the hard work you put in during now, during this crisis, right? What will happen when you come out of the crisis is it will go, grow exponentially. People during their toughest times, they will always remember the people who helped them through it. That's why I'm saying people like you, you're doing great. You're doing amazing work. During this time, so much, so much, so much hate and negativity going on in the world. You're going out spreading positivity. Everybody who needs this positivity right now, they're coming to you. So what will happen outside of this pandemic, outside of this crisis, everybody will remember you. So this is why. You just gave me good. <laughs> this is why every, I remember you guys. <laughs> everybody should focus on how can I put good, how can I put kindness, how can I put love and positivity out to the world right now? Yeah. Keep practicing. The more you put out, let me tell you something, outside of this, the more you'll, you'll be rewarded for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it uplifted your spirit and it puts you in that place where you know you can attract the things you want, but even more than that, get that sense of well-being we all need all the time but even more now more than ever if you guys enjoy these videos this is quite new for me you know um i've always been like this i've always like loved this I, it feels so natural to me to talk about this because it's something i've been practicing my whole life but i don't know why i've never really shared on social media i was sharing more fashion beauty travel which i love as well but this is like my my core maybe I felt too vulnerable in a way sharing this part of me but now with everything that's going on and knowing I'm helping so much people I'm bringing positivity into your life I just feel like I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be vulnerable for you you know so anyway if there's more of these topics you want me to cover please tell me in the comments below because again I'm new to this and, and I don't know so if there's anything you think would be interesting for for me to talk to you guys about or any questions you have of anything just leave me a comment below and i love 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 to talk more about this um thank you very much for tuning in if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe give this video a like <laughs> and remember to always always stay positive and spread the light love you